Hello, my name is Jay, and I'm going to introduce you to Captivate, and we're going to work through the How to Create a Killer PBJ instructional module. First of all, we're going to go to Captivate and start a new file. Up to File, New Project, Blank Project, also Command N, as almost everything else is on Earth. The new window gives you different sizes for the stage. We're going to actually go and pick one of the preset sizes. Oddly enough, they have the iPad 2 dimensions down here in spite of all the Apple Adobe things that have been going on. We're going to use that. You can also customize a size if you have something special in mind. This opens it up in the window. You guys have been through the intro module so you know all about all this window stuff. Let's back up so you can see the stage. We are going to start by creating some text on this first slide. So uh, you of course are aware of the text caption tool over here. We're going to click on it. It drops a text caption in the center. The drag about the text caption is the the funkiness of the style. I'm just not a big fan of the styles that they have. Check it out. It says Halo Blue. There are different options if you like one of these. That's cool. I tend to go with just transparent so text can just be text. But you will very quickly get tired of doing this on every caption that you put in. So we're going to go actually and change the preferences so we don't have to do this ever again. So up to Captivate, to the Preferences menu. Here in the default setting, we're going to change our slide duration. Let's go for 10 seconds instead of 3. That's a little more realistic. Background color is white. Let's leave that. Um, the images we have have white backgrounds, so we are going to want to match that. That's all cool. Default text caption is fine. Displays for 3 seconds. Let's actually change this so that it displays for the rest of the slide. So whatever the slide length is, our stuff will just stick to that. And then let's define the style. So here we are adjusting the style. This looks similar to the properties table. We're going to change the caption style to transparent and the font. I'd like you to change the font to something other than Myriad just so that we know that you know how to do it. I'm going to go for, I'm going to try your style or your steel depending on your pronunciation. Where'd you go? And then regular is fine. 25 actually is fine too. Let's change the color though to something a little bit more PBJ. Maybe, let's try this guy. That seems cool. And then I'm also going to change the alignment. In general, I think I want my stuff to go left. And not centered on the box, but to the top of the box. And then also line spacing instead of single. I'm going to bump this up to space and a half just for kicks. And then transition fade in and out. That's cool. Let's leave that as it is. So we hit OK here. We hit OK here. And now if we get rid of this guy and we drop in a new Caption. Actually, let's go to the other way to do this. You go up to the Insert menu, Standard Objects, Text Caption, also top of the list there, and it's Shift-Command-C is the shortcut. So it drops in, and now you can see it comes in as transparent. It's picking up our font, our size, our color, and our alignment, so now everything's cool. So let's put in our first text. I'm going to go down. I've got the text file open down below here. Trust me that it's there. We're going to highlight this first set of text, copy it, and just double click and paste it into here. And now I'm going to move this up. And actually, these guys I probably do want centered, so let's change that to centered. Let's stretch this window so everything kind of fits in a single line. And then I'm also going to reef this text up. Let's do something crazy. And then actually, I'm going to double click in here to select this, and let's bold this. Awesome. And remove this kind of to the center. We need a new text box. I'm actually just going to duplicate this one, copy paste it. And then move this down. So a lot of the formatting is already done for me. I'm going to take the next chunk of text from down below, copy that, select all in here, and just do a paste into there. So now we'll do a little adjusting of the size. This is maybe a little intense for the font. Let's back this down a little bit. Can look at that. And now I'm going to align these two things together. I'm going to drag to select them both. I want this guy first, and then this one in the second part. You can tell the difference. The one that has the white boxes is sort of the the ruler of the adjustment. Everything will be adjusted to that item, and then everything else that's in black will be adjusted to whatever the the top one is. I'm going to go up to modify, align, and then let's align center. That actually wasn't too bad as it was. 
So we'll scroll this down a little bit. Everything so far is cool. We're going to look at what's up down here in the timeline. So we're still stuck at three seconds. This slide isn't updating to our new preferences, so I'm going to bump this out to about 10. It's going to drag the end of the timeline. And you can see these guys, though, are expanding with it, so that's cool. And I don't want them to come in together. I want the first title to come in with the slide, and then maybe I'll give you four seconds to read that before this one comes in. So here we're controlling when the different items are appearing on the stage. Okay, so let's stop here, and we'll pick things up on the next video. I'll meet you there.